<laughs> and trying to do weird tricks with a kicking it. Oh! Powerful criminals, retired bank robbers, and all sorts of other unsavory characters. Today, we are heading to the wild streets of Los Santos, reacting to the medical scenes and insane injuries of Grand Theft Auto V. Let's dive right in. Okay, wait a minute, before we even start, he's riding a motorcycle. This game would be so cool if he actually put on a helmet. Because, yeah, obviously, you need to have a helmet in case you fall. Of the people that I see get into accidents and have bad things happen, it's because they're not wearing a helmet. You can get really bad road rash, snap a bone. I've even seen people come in with their limbs missing. Please wear a helmet if you're actually riding a motorcycle. <laughs> and trying to do weird tricks with a kicking it. Oh! Oh, man! Duh! Duh! Literally, that type of injury is going to take off your head. If you do survive, EMS will get there. They'll put you in a seat collar. If your helmet's there, they'll actually still keep the helmet on and stabilize your neck with tape and maybe some pillows to try to pull off the face shield as well as the helmet all at once. Oh, geez. Two people wheelie. Oh, get off the train! Oh, wow! The guy gets run over by a train. He literally gets cut in half. Is that survivable? Yes, you've heard of weird stories where somebody survives, but very much unlikely. If it's your abdomen, you're cut right through the abdominal aorta. Your blood's just gonna pull right out of your body super fast. And you're gonna die pretty quickly. We're yachting and we're trying to land on the yacht. Oh, the blood that's smearing on the nice white yacht. I'm mean, having multiple abrasions and you're getting your skin just kind of ripped off because the yacht has the coatings. When you fall on a gymnasium floor and it's got that coat of like lacquer on it, same idea where you like skin it off. <laughs> you get some sort of head injury that can cause you to pass out. You smash your head, your brain goes forward and backwards. So you can have a coup, counter coup injuries and you can bruise both ends. You can rip the bridging veins of the brain itself, which then can lead to a subdural hematoma. You can also get a subarachnoid bleed and you can get skull fractures. So these are the things you worry about when somebody hits their head. Nice. Here for the magic touch. Whoa. The amount of people that I've seen that have been hit by cars, man, people get destroyed. Sometimes we even see people who come in who are still alive, but their skull is busted open and you actually see brain matter and some of the brain matter is actually coming off. Find the bike. Oh! You would not be alive if a car comes smashing down on your unprotected head. Super close range like that. Blood splattering everywhere. And I'm assuming that a lot of the tissue would be gone, gone. from such a close range. There won't be a trial unless you're... Oh! Immediate stop, head injury. The big thing you worry about is drowning in this instance because now you're unconscious. You don't have a life preserver or a life vest on. And if you're in a dead man's float position, your head's in the water, you won't be able to breathe. So hopefully somebody there to get you out ASAP. And then you also worry about cervical spine injuries, but you do your best to save their life and protect their neck, but you're also trying to keep them from drowning. <gasps> you know, you fall off that ledge, hit the uh, rail, you can actually fracture a bone pretty easily. You get concerned that you're gonna break a rib, and if you break a rib, then you're concerned that you might puncture a lung. But then, how the heck do you avoid a falling helicopter where the blades are now just cutting you in half? That's like the worst outcome. This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. I gotta call my dad. Oh, hey. <gasps> Poor bang. Oh my gosh! Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the first thing I'm thinking of. It's ripping through the left side. The left side has your spleen, your kidney on the back. You can actually live without your spleen, but if your spleen gets injured, a lot, a lot of bleeding. You can live without one kidney. Very interesting what we have one of and what we have two of. What is this thing? It almost looks like one of those wind turbines that we see that are supposed to generate energy. I've seen people in smaller versions of like a meat grinder where they've gotten their hands stuck and they've come in degloved. 
or the hand totally removed. If you don't have the hand to replace it, it's just an amputation at that point and close up the end of the wound. It just slid your face against the, the wooden ground that probably just caused a lot of splinters to go in your face. If you ever get any splinters, you can try to take them out with a tweezer. Some other easy, fun home remedies would be like using duct tape, <laughs> trying to get it stuck to the duct tape and pulling it out. Elmer's glue, put it on there and then just peel it off. What? Took a shot right to the right flank, through the spleen maybe, or just above it, and could have went directly into the heart. Sometimes we see where one shot actually kills an individual or causes a significant amount of damage versus other times if you have lots of wounds and lots of through and through injuries, sometimes they actually miss everything and you're okay. Why no, why the talk now? Give me that. Oh, hey, what's up, homie? I tell the best stories ever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? Man, that is scary. The guy's got a uh, machete on them. Machete. It just took massive uh, slices. We see a lot of people get you know, sliced like that on the back. Luckily, the ribs are protecting, so it goes through all the, the muscle and the skin, all the subcutaneous fat there, which we can sew up. If you start getting deeper into the abdomen, if it goes through, a lot of times you'll actually have to have exploratory uh, laparotomies where they actually go in and explore and see if anything has been cut open. Oh, what is this, taser? Oh, he's got a, oh. A taser? Oh my God. Oh. We see a lot of people come to the emergency department with taser injuries. Don't tase me, bro! Or just to have the taser barbs removed. Typically, when I was happening, a police officer would use the taser and they cut the wires off, but they're just these probes just sticking there in the skin and they have a barb on them. So if you try to pull it out, it obviously gets stuck in the skin. So we'll use an 11 blade to try to cut the skin off of where the barb is catching. Oh! Wow. Somebody getting hit, lower back. My back. You definitely worry about fracture down in the lower spine area. You worry about whiplash. You worry about cervical fractures and then the trauma to the face. Typically, if somebody came into the emergency department with that injury, you get a head to toe CT scan and a full, full evaluation. A lot of times people actually will come to the emergency department with these type of injuries and actually refuse all care and they'll just leave. Come on. Come on! Definitely happens. We see people who get hit by hammers all the time, either by accident when they're actually on the job site or on purpose that people are using hammers as a weapon to hurt other individuals. Getting hit with a blunt object, you're not getting hit with the backside of it, which actually has the, the prongs, that's typical hammer. Oh. Jesus, no! Chainsaw injuries. Literally, I've seen people take a chainsaw and pull it up to cut and they've cut their own head. I've seen it bounce and hit people in the thighs or their leg even onto their back, even hitting somebody else by accident, all on the job site. So you gotta be really, really careful when it comes to using a chainsaw. Crazy. I can't believe the graphics in this game. They're just so detailed. Really cool. Who doesn't like playing Grand Theft Auto? I enjoy playing this game. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, let me know in the comments. And as always, make sure that you binge watch this series right here. Check out this whole playlist. As always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.